It is Sunday, May 31st, and we are looking at the bank that I have finally gotten cleaned out. We're looking at a very big and happy sedum. And I'm not sure why it's so big. And then we're looking at the salvia that I planted in here. And they've only been in here since last week, and it'll take a while, but they'll get going. Okay, are we looking at my yucca plants? If you're wondering why they look so funny, they had a lot of insect damage, and I had to cut off all the foliage that was damaged. So they're looking a little weird. Still the bank bed, and we're looking at the portulaca and the rocks. And I put these rocks in here when I first put this bed in, but they've been covered up by all of that yellowy stuff that you see over there. So I think this is the first time I've seen my geode in a really long time. And these are the pots by the front steps that I these are pots that I got from my mom, and they're like a half round pot. They're flat in the back, and I always put Nikini impatience in them. Okay, here's the front bed, and we have a marigold that's only supposed to be about 10 inches tall, and it is yellow. And the Aturatum, they don't sell the one that I've always had, so I've gotten one that's more blue. Usually I get one that's a little bit more purple. How many plants you got in here? Uh, actually, I have 81 of each. We're just looking at it from the other side, and I've lost some marigolds, and I'm not sure why, but I have some backups on the deck. Um. The birds have just been eating the amelanthus tree like crazy. I mean, look around, there's, there's no ripe berries anywhere. The birds are just eating everything as soon as they get ripe. Amazing. And, and even the chipmunk got up there and ate some. Front bed, I've planted some uh, golden yellow dwarf zinnias. And they'll grow to be about a foot tall. And that's what's in front. And then all around the back are my daylilies and my peonies and a lot of plants that I'm going to pull out and try to get rid of. And I'm probably going to try and put up the fence. It's another year of the ammo actually. There's just not many berries left because the birds are just eating them all, which is a very good thing. Do you agree, Kristen? Yeah. I mean, there's some ammo lanterns on campus that I hardly ever see any birds in. And there's always all kinds of berries, but our tree. The birds just go nuts and they eat them all. And on campus, the berries just turn really dark red and rot and fall to the ground. So, I don't know. We don't know what the deal is, but... This is the Campanula glomerata that I got from my mom. And we keep trying to get rid of it, but it always comes back and it kind of moves around the garden in various spaces. 